Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a twin flame reading from May the 9th until the 19th. So I'm going to be using my deck uh, for clarifiers. So I'm going to be doing a little differently today. Um, I have some new decks that I want to feature. Um, so I'm just trying to think of how to combine them. I think I'm going to use the traditional John Holland deck. I'm going to pull one card per position uh, for that, but I'm also going to pull uh, one card per position using uh, this fairy Lenormand cards. Um, those cards are kind of interesting because um, they give power to the card. Uh, that it's on it basically so it accentuates the card in many ways so you'll see what I mean um, now I've only read through the descriptions a couple times so if I mess up my apologies I will try to confirm um, the interpretation with the book as well but we'll see how it goes um, okay so there's the John Holland is shuffled so here's the Norman. And I'm also going to be using Mists and Mermaids uh, for the message from the universe. So I'll pull two cards from that. All right. And shuffle those already. I think I'll put these over here. Okay, so I think I'm going to pull one card from each deck per position, okay? All right, so I think I'm going to begin with the mermaid, or sorry, the fairy cards, and then I'll pull the John Holland and uh, my deck. Actually, you know what? Let's use the John Holland as the main energy, and then this will be the confirmation to the other two cards. All right, so beginning with the feminine, recent past position, intuition, so using your um, psychic knowing your intuition to guide you so a lot of the feminines are really getting in touch with their intuitive side um, so this is using you know the power of the subconscious mind in order to um, find answers from within so um, you know it is quieting um, the conscious mind and actually using the conscious mind as a gateway in order to dive below the surface to the subconscious and you know really listen to what your um, you know your inner knowing is telling you so yes that's awesome the feminine spiritual form uh, the high priestess that's awesome okay next okay so this card um, talks about barriers um, it is structures in society like government, um, institutions, that kind of thing. But um, they present walls um, or barriers. So what I'm getting from the two of these cards, since this is the main energy, um, I'm feeling that the feminine is using her intuition in order to see beyond uh, the conditions, the rules um, of society, and really seeing... Um, how these are meant to constrict the soul, not to actually help you um, expand yourself. So I'm feeling the feminine is really kind of waking up to this understanding. Okay, and one card from my deck. Whoa, nice, 1111. So confirmation um, that this reading is in fact about a twin flame uh, connection. So she is seeing the truth of what the twin flame union is on a very deep uh, knowing you know um, she can see how uh, the constructs of society like marriage um, you know contracts law um, government is all constricting her and, and uh, creating barriers um, from you know allowing her to really attain this this twin flame connection, she can see how this 3D world is nothing like uh, this spiritual connection that, or 5D connection that she has with the masculine. So, um, 
yeah, I'm seeing this as a, an awakening, um, uh, coming into your truth and understanding of uh, the dual aspects of being awake and aware and uh, alive, essentially. Okay, so the recent past for the masculine. Let me just put this down there. Hope. So this is a star card, wish granted. Uh, so this comes after a very difficult period of time. Um, so, you know, something like the tower has come down. Uh, the, the structures that you've had built up around you, um, your attachments to, to the material world, um, your attachments to people, um, that, has, that has all come down. You've released that. And now, uh, the, well, the masculine was in uh, the recent past. He has healed his heart. Um, he, he feels, you know, optimistic and hopeful about the future. But uh, this card also represents um, wish granted as well. So this card here, they don't, I don't really even, uh, know the names of the cards. I just understand uh, what they mean. So this is someone who is um, strong-headed, um, determined. Uh, their mind cannot be changed. Um, so there's a sense that, you know, through this healing, through this growth, uh, the masculine really kind of made some realizations and uh, really understands um, how all of this was meant to raise his consciousness to higher levels. Uh, and because of that, it's given him this understanding, this knowing, also at a deep level, um, you know, about what his true path is. And because he's uh, come to that understanding, there's a sense that um, his wishes will be granted as a result of it. So one of my cards... So the Knight of Swords, um, this is truth, justice, uh, it's speaking of truth, it's cutting off, uh, away the barriers, but it is an energy that is forward and it's fast, it's airy, so this could represent an air sign, um, but it's communicating your truth, it's cutting those barriers away, uh, he's a champion, the rebel, without a cause, so um, it's a very kind of scattered energy, not really directed, um, but ultimately it's in search of truth and justice so he's one that will sit down and talk to you about something uh, lay it on the line um, emotionally disconnected in order to be able to do that so what I feel here is growth understanding he really um, figured shit out basically okay he um, it's like he's uh, he understands what his spiritual path is his spiritual calling and he feels optimistic about it as a result it's almost like this understanding came in quite quickly and it would have to come after something you know pretty sudden and extreme like the tower card okay present position for the feminine wow nice heart chakra so unconditional love um, she is you know she's basically in this energy as well where she's healed the past um, she's let go of pain um, forgiven herself forgiven others and her heart chakra is now wide open um, to give and receive love unconditionally nice so this card uh, represents having the key to open um, doors basically right so it's about um, having the key to unlock those barriers so her her key is, her, her heart is uh, wide open, it's been opened by, um, she's opened it basically, it's wide open and cannot be shut. Seven of Cups, so this is using your heart to guide you, uh, it's having too many options and they're all, um, um, they're all tasty, basically. They're all great options, but you don't know which one to choose. So there's a sense of confusion that goes along with it. So even though, you know, she's open, um, she, uh, it, there's more of an accepting, accept, acceptance kind of energy to this. It's like, yeah, I don't know how to get to where I want to go, but that's okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm just, you know, chilling here 
trying to figure things out and but at the same time I'm giving love and receiving it uh, openly I just want to move these over. All right. So present position masculine, two of pentacles. Um, so this is making a decision currently in his 3D world that has to do with the physical world. So um, while that decision um, is being played out or carried out, there is a sense of chaos, um, being unsteady, uh, feeling like you're bug um, juggling you know, a thousand balls in the air. So it's an uneasy energy. It's uh, the wind of change. So spirit is asking you to bend with the wind, to be resilient, um, and just allow, you know, the change to occur. But ultimately, it's about making a decision. Sorry, I still got paint on my hands. My apologies. <laughs> okay, nice. So this is an energy of moving forward. Uh, but it's also um, a reward. You're starting to see a reward uh, for all of the work that you've done in the past. Um, so it's a movement forward, but with um, tangible results, basically, is what I'm seeing here. Eight of Cups. So this is also a, a movement energy. So the decision... Um, is these two cards are ultimately the same kind of energy. It's going forward on a spiritual journey, um, following your true higher calling, your true purpose. But it, at the same time, this Eight of Cups means uh, withdrawing emotionally um, from people who are draining you, or you know, you just had enough. Basically, I'm done. I'm out of here. So basically, he he's made that decision, and while that change is occurring, there's a sense of unsteadiness but um, at the same time he feels powerful uh, you know powerful enough to get up and walk out that door and get into his little fairy uh, ship here and um, steer himself towards his his destiny his higher calling oops Daisy yeah let's put that over there as well so you can see the cards a little bit better. Put these out front. Okay, so um, for the feminines in your future, nice wish granted. Uh, so all of your uh, hopes and dreams are coming true. Uh, the nine is an arrival card. Uh, so it's being at that place where you can enjoy your life. You're doing the things that you that make you happy. Um, you know, whether be hobbies, sports, going out um, to your favorite restaurants, movies, I don't know, whatever, going on a trip. But it's just feeling an overabundance of emotions and, and happy feels. So this is um, making a choice. Uh, so this is, you know, having two roads to choose from. And... Um, well this is the main energy so I'm feeling like in the near future the feminine will be presented with a choice okay let's see what else here five of wands so this is a challenge or obstacle it's somebody challenging you uh, and it's not necessarily a bad card it's you know something that is meant to make you feel to make you grow basically so it's a minor challenge minor obstacle for growth so in the near future you uh, the feminine will be left with a choice or have to make a choice and it's just a small obstacle that she needs to overcome uh, and once she does make that choice and take you know that road then abundance and love it, um, and happy feels are going to be uh, coming towards her as a result of it. A lot of love coming from the feminine aspect here. I'm just going to try and mute that sound. Hopefully that worked. Okay, so for the near future for the masculine, wisdom, the higher fence, 
awesome. So this is the High Priest, the Divine Feminine High Priestess counterpart. So this is Divine Masculine um, using um, his power of connecting with Source uh, and the collective and the Kashuk records in order to download information but also share it with others um, to guide them out of the darkness but in, essentially it means that the Divine Masculine is really getting in touch with his higher self, his higher knowing and um, you know choosing a, um, to go down a spiritual path and ultimately he kind of graduates you know from this making a decision to leave nasty energy, uh, getting on that boat, and then his arrival is as the high priest. Wow, that's awesome. So this is the divine feminine twin flame. This card represents the feminine energy. Nice. So near future, um, either he's going to be reaching out in the 5D with the Divine Feminine or, um, you know, taking a spiritual path that guides him towards the fi uh, Divine Feminine or maybe the two are coming together in order to fulfill this ultimate purpose or what have you. Wow, incredible judgment. So it's all about awakening. Uh, the judgment card is realizing that your entire life has just been an illusion. It's just a movie that's been played on the screen in your own mind. Uh, so you create the characters, the roles, the storyline, um, and ultimately this is a waking up to that fact. Okay, so uh, it's a detachment from society, it's conditionings, and it's a rebirth, a brand new start. Um, stripping the material world away and actually following a more spiritual enlightened path. That's incredible. Okay, final outcome for the feminine. Wow. Oh my god. Awesome. So Four of Wands is my Twin Flame 1111 calling card. This is mine for my deck but I use the Four of Wands for every other deck. Uh, so that's what is your final outcome. For some, uh, this means union, not for all. But look at that. I mean, the High Priestess, bam. Unconditional love, bam. Nine of, of Cups, wish granted. Incredible abundance of love and then more love. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's crazy! This is the Divine Masculine! Oh my god! So the Feminine is coming up on the Masculine side and the Masculine is coming up on the Feminine side with the Four of Wands. Justice, of course. Of course. It's because of all this love, this openness, uh, that you know, justice, that karma is coming back to you in a good way. That's what that means. Okay, so the masculine final outcome. Deception and envy. The seven of swords. I wasn't expecting that card. Um, so this is a sense of not knowing if you can trust somebody. You feel like they're deceiving you. They're not telling you the whole truth. Um, and he's looking back over his shoulders. He's not looking, you know, the energy is not directed towards the feminine. It's an energy coming from the outside, it feels like. So it feels like he needs to look over his shoulder to make sure that something doesn't come back uh, to haunt him. But ultimately, I mean, this is such a positive, incredible reading. Okay. This card is called Purity. So it's, it's a certain degree of honor that comes along with wisdom. Um, and, um, you know, it has to do 
with a wise old man, basically. So this, what I'm feeling here, the two cards, you know, since there's a sense of deception, and this card is about purity and honor, um, I think it's almost like a warning for the masculine to make sure that you, when you're leaving this situation, uh, that you don't leave it in a nasty way, um, that you you take care of, <clears throat> sorry, the loose ends, um, and when I get a scratchy throat, that means communication, so communicate your truth and don't be afraid to do that, and, um, you know, use your wisdom, your knowledge, and um, the purity of your soul in order to cut any loose ends and uh, and move forward. Four of Swords. And the way that you can do that in order to release this mental noise is the Four of Swords, which is um, meditation, rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. But it's stilling your mind um, of any thoughts, you know, finding that stillness, going you know, canoeing or going into nature, but reconnecting with yourself. And from that, uh, you will be able to, you know, connect with your true, real, authentic self and therefore, you know, be able to make decisions from a pure, honest standpoint. Sorry, the card is, or that candle is a little hot up there, so we're going to move them down a bit. Okay, so what is the feminine bringing into the union? Solitude. That's awesome. The hermit. Uh, but here you see a feminine being represented normally. It's a masculine energy. Uh, so you are coming in as this wise soul um, who has a lot of knowledge in terms of spirituality you have disconnected from the material world uh, you've disconnected from the stories the conditioning um, and you are you know in this state of um, trying to find your inner knowing as well so there's a sense of learning still occurring but you're bringing this wisdom into the union. This is the energy. You're coming off as this uh, strong, knowledgeable, spiritual, um, powerful woman. Okay, so this is, um, even though there's a picture of a mountain here, it talks about a transition. Uh, so there's a cloud up here so the cloud is moving uh, so but the card doesn't actually represent moving it, it represents um, the space in between movements so it actually represents a resting period in order to reevaluate and think things through so that's beautiful you're in this um, you're in this uh, airy kind of energy, so you're in the mind, you're gaining wisdom and knowledge, you're connecting to uh, source and, you know, again, the Akashic Records in order to uh, gain spiritual wisdom, but uh, it isn't an energy of sharing it like the Hierophant, you are using it in order to find clarity within yourself. So it's very similar to this kind of energy, except for this is more of a thought. This is more, you know, using your heart to guide you. Wow, Ten of Cups. Awesome. So Ten of Cups is one up on the Nine of Cups. You are bringing in this abundance of love. Uh, this card represents that happily ever after. Um, so there's peace and harmony within the family and within your uh, connection with the divine masculine um, but you're giving this abundance of love wow that's crazy so you know you got the heart chakra the nine of cups and the ten of cups and the four of wands is the energy that's flowing towards masculine that's beautiful okay what is the masculine bringing in six of swords awesome 
So it's very similar energy to this card, and it's very cool that it is a masculine energy in both. Um, so again, you know, this is um, similar to the Four of Swords, you're retreating, but you know, you're not only walking away from that mental noise, but you're finally making a decision to end it. That's it. I'm done. I'm through with it. I'm moving on, moving on. So you're moving from the darkness into the light. And I love how the masculine is walking towards the feminine. She represents the sun that he holds in his hand. That's why he feels hopeful and optimistic because he feels like he's on the right path. And he definitely is. Oh my God, that's awesome. Oh my God, well, what do you think that means, right? There's a ring here. So this card represents commitment. So he's ready to, um, you know, put the past behind him, move towards, you know, a better life. And he's bringing this card of commitment in with him. Nice. Eight of Swords. So he's moving away from that mental prison, releasing himself, and he's moving towards love. So this is, you know, a sense of, uh, uh, it's an external energy um, that's oppressing him. It's coming from the outside, oppressing him, making, may, made him feel, because it's past tense, I feel that he's already released this. Um, so walking away from something that uh, is keeping him in this mental prison. You know, he, he chose to believe that he was a prisoner when in fact he was free. So he's waking up to that understanding, releasing himself from that mental prison and, and, and moving towards love, towards his heart. Wow, it's incredible. Okay, so foundation, nice, S success and victory. So this is a shared energy between both twin flames. Um, so this represents feeling successful, uh, being on the right path. So you both feel like you're on the right spiritual path, and that's definitely being reflected in the reading for sure. Um, and but this is also recognition from source that um, you know for all, it's you, that re reward is coming towards you because of all the hard work that you've been doing. Awesome. So I think I'm just going to pull two cards from my deck. One for the feminine first. Nice. Six of cups and the seven of pentacles. So the seven of pentacles is. A waiting card so it's putting a lot of work into something in the 3d and waiting for that payoff waiting for that return so you know putting these two cards together it's almost like he's receiving that reward now or will be receiving that reward reward soon and that the wait is almost over the six of cups is a reunion card um, so this is somebody coming back from the past somebody that you've known in your childhood or from a previous life but it represents pure, innocent love connection. So um, there's a sense that you feel that the wait is over and that there has been a return of your love and you feel successful about it. So for some, this could represent, you know, um, that maybe some of you have uh, come into contact with each other um, and perhaps you're making plans to reunite in a 3D world. Um, or this could mean that that energy is going to be coming towards the both of you soon. I don't know. <laughs> so many possibilities. Okay, so for the crowning energy, nice. Stand your ground. Seven of Wands. Never give up. Never surrender. So you both feel very successful. You feel strong. Um, you feel like you've expressed yourself, you've stood up for your core values and beliefs, and you didn't give up. That's awesome. So, feminine first, five of pentacles, masculine, ten of swords. Awesome. So, the reason why the masculine feels successful is because of the ten of swords. 
Uh, the 10 represents an ending, completion, so it's over now. Uh, so the masculine is cut away. Uh, the barriers, the darkness, it's done. And he's standing in his strength. Um, so the Five of Pentacles is a feeling of being left out in the cold. Um, it could also represent a financial loss of some kind, like having to release yourself from something uh, in order to find freedom. Um, but what I'm feeling here is more the left out in the cold kind of energy. So maybe um, maybe she doesn't feel that way anymore because of a connection or contact. I don't know. Um, or maybe the feminine ha has had to release something in the material world, um, some kind of chain attachment uh, that is ultimately making her feel powerful. So I'm definitely feeling that for the both of them there was a release that made them feel strong. Okay, so for the heart-centered energy, four of pentacles, firm foundation. So this is a grounding, heavy, grounded energy like the mountain here. Uh, so like the card says, firm foundation has been laid. So a lot of strength here. So I'm going to pull one card, feminine, two of wands, masculine, High Priestess. Okay, so the Two of Wands is um, making a decision in the past that was based on your higher dreams, your higher goals, your higher visions. It's expanding your mind, your horizons, and seeing how you're connected to all, uh, that kind of thing. But it wasn't based on fear. The decision wasn't based on fear. It was based on your higher calling. So um, there's that, a wait for that return to come still. Um, so you feel grounded, strong, uh, while you're waiting. The masculine, um, the high priestess showed up in the feminine's recent past. Um, so the masculine is drawing strength from this connection that he has with the divine feminine in terms of spirituality. So, um, you know, it's almost like the, the feminine is opening this door that is um, connecting her to the masculine energy. And from that um, strength is, you know, the, the foundation is being grounded. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to pull one clarification card for that, for the Four of Pentacles. And I'll just use this deck over here. Luck, I think this is what this means. Let me just pull out the description for it. 36, I never pulled that card before, so I don't recall what it says. Okay, faith, it says. Okay, the house of the cross shows the resolution and acceptance of the reading, the context and, and the card. Uh, it is the grace of solution and resolution. Okay, so there's been a solution. Um, there's a feeling that you there's a a shared you know understanding between the two twins that has grounded this energy, this union, and it has to do with spirituality. Do you know what I mean? It's um, this is what true twin flame connections are about. It's about uh, growing, um, growing your consciousness and, uh, and awakening. And that's exactly what this reading is about. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling with the high priestess as well. That connection, that spiritual connection that the two of you share, uh, is divine being divinely guided and it is grounded firmly in the 3D is what I'm feeling. I would have liked to have seen the masculine here, but I'm just feeling that there's a door being open. It's wide open here with the unconditional love, with the key. Do you know what I mean? There's just this openness to the feminine. So that's a perfect card. I would have liked to have seen the high priestess show up over here, or sorry, the high priest show up over here, not the priestess. Um, but, you know, that's what the you know, source chose for us. So. Um, maybe it means that, you know, not only is he getting connected with the spiritual side of himself, with 
source in order to share his wisdom and knowledge, but it, he's using his intuition and, and subconscious mind also in order to, to arrive at this higher spiritual understanding, perhaps. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Let me know if it resonates. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and also I just wanted to thank you guys for being so patient for, with me. I uh, I got a lot of work done this past week, so I've um, got the entire book outlined and I'm finished all the major arcanas. So now I'm working on each suit. So I've already got them written. I'm just you know um, making adjustments. So I can't believe how fast I was actually able to to get that book out. But yeah, I'm super stoked about it. So I actually need to find an editor. I am so terrible with spelling and grammatical stuff. So if you know anybody, um, hello, I'm looking. So yeah, um, what else did I want to say? Uh, so I didn't read any emails while I was off. I needed to hermitize myself, so completely disconnect with everything in order for me to do that work. Uh, so I know that some of you have ordered some readings, um, so I will be getting to those tomorrow. And then for anyone else who wants to book with me, I will be starting uh, rebooking back in, I think on Friday is when I'll start to do those. So let me know if you want a reading. I'm going to start to book again. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. So this is shared between the two of you is the Eight of Swords. So it is this card right here, feeling like you're trapped in a mental prison. It's an oppressive energy from the outside. And that is what the Divine Masculine is currently trying to walk away from and ultimately will be doing that. But again, there's that warning up at the top here, you know, to do it in the... Uh, pure manner, honorable manner, so, but it is a shared energy, so the feminine, you know, maybe because she doesn't know everything, it's causing some mental conflict in her mind, but I'm not really seeing that in the cards, uh, so I think it's more from coming from the masculine side, feeling like he's trapped, and because of that, you know, the, the energy is being mirrored uh, onto the feminine as well, so because he feels trapped, she feels trapped, do you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from uh, Mists and Mermaids, and I will read those to you. So I've only actually read a couple of cards. I wanted to keep them a surprise to myself as well. Okay, so this is a message from the universe for the feminine first. Mermaid with a golden dragon, awesome, and the masculine sea beasties. I mean, just from looking at the card, it looks like he's in a protective mode, perhaps, and the feminine's all like, "What's up?" And that's exactly what I'm I'm getting from the two sides. So. Oops, it easy. Okay, so number three. <clears throat> Sorry. So, mermaid with a golden dragon. So, I'm going to hold this in my arm. It actually feels comfortable. How about like so? No, it doesn't work for me. Okay. I don't know, it's just the way this card is kind of angled. Sorry. Okay. A golden beast did I espy while swimming aimlessly, idling by, what a treasure, what a prize to capture my eager eyes, a pet to cherish, cherish, precious, bright, shining with such honeyed light. You know, I'm just going to put this down. You guys can probably see it. Or can I move this? Oh boy, dominoes. Okay, can you see that? Awesome. Okay. So let me start at the top again. 
A golden beast did I espy, while swimming aimless, idling by. What a treasure, what a prize, to capture my eager eyes. A pet to cherish, precious, bright, shining with such honey-eyed light. Good luck, great fortune to adore, I'll guard my gold forevermore. So it says, a sweet young mermaid looks over her newfound treasure, a tiny baby dragon. His golden scales emit a radiance of wealth and prosperity, and he nestles among the water lilies in the lake. Um, the meaning is, look forward to prosperity. Awesome. Good news. Your hard work and careful planning are soon to pay off. While it is exciting to contemplate your new success, it is important to keep your head. Remember that with wealth comes responsibility, and if you are not careful with your money, it may soon be gone. Uh, do not give into the temptation to spend quickly and avoid falling victim to bad investments. Instead, remember your long-term goals and choose a path that is consistent, consistent with um, what you wish to accomplish in life. Just the same, it is okay to splurge a little. You deserve it. So awesome, you feel abundant, definitely is what I'm seeing. And in the near future, there's something coming towards you. Uh, so I think this is just a warning, you know, to keep your shit together, <laughs> really. You know, um, yeah, just chill the way you've been chilling. Okay, number eight. So right here, sea beasties, here in the murky depths we dwell, trapped in darkness like a jail, oh my god, that's freaking crazy, okay, uh, trapped in darkness like a jail, obscured by she who holds the key, <laughs> oh my god, where's the key, I know I have it here somewhere. Okay, where'd it go? There it is. She who holds the key. Okay, I'm going to start again. Here in the murky depths we dwell, trapped in, uh, trapped in darkness like a jail, obscured by she who holds the key, yet chooses not to lift the veil. Our clandestine existence can, sorry, our clandestine existence can, our shadows no longer condone. Buried deep, we wait, we sleep, unknowable, or just unknown. Um, so it says, a strange maiden in a tentacled headdress fixes her slight, sightless gaze straight ahead, unaware of the bizarre creatures surrounding her at the bottom of the deepest sea. So the meaning is, be aware of deeply buried thoughts and desires. Late you, lately, you've felt some unfamiliar stirrings from thoughts and desires buried deep below the surface. These elements of self may be the things you have forgotten, and they may be things you have intentionally ignored or unconsciously repressed. Yes, okay, so he is using his intuition in order to pull himself out of that. Uh, he's got to unlock himself from that prison, not the feminine. You're just holding your heart open. You're holding that key, maybe, you know, uh, maybe you are the key, drawing him out of the darkness. Okay, so what was I saying? However, they are still there, and it is time to acknowledge their existence. These ideas and emotions, perhaps even fear, may be difficult to retrieve or recall, but don't worry. Nothing is impossible. And the more you concentrate on becoming self-aware, the better you will become at understanding these hidden pieces of your personality. Very nice. And that goes along with that awakening and stepping into that uh, high priest. So beautiful. That's a message from Spirit saying to, um, you know, release these fears and release yourself from that mental prison. But at the same time, feminine. Um, there's abundance coming towards you, girlfriends. So, awesomeness. All right. I love you guys. I will see you next week. Cheers.